Hey, so um, what I've realized actually today, or tonight, I'm shooting this on the 26th of March 2019, is that I posted my first beer review almost two years ago. I posted it on March 29th, 2017. And it was the Canuck Pale Ale. Any of the OG Maple Rooski subscribers will know. Great Lakes Brewery Canuck Pale Ale. It was the first beer review I did. And I was I was looking back, I'm re-watching it right now actually, and uh, the the whole when I whenever I choose and say let's crack a beer and enjoy. I didn't remember when I really thought about saying that slogan, but I guess it was from right in the beginning because look what I have found. So I'm watching, I'm watching myself right now. Kind of weird, I know, but just just watch. Getting yourself into craft beer later on down the road, but this is just my first beer review, and I'm not sure what I'm doing. But you know what? Let's go with it. Let's roll with it. Let's crack a beer and enjoy it. Look at how, wow, that's cool. I think that's really awesome how I sort of had that slogan. Uh, if you would call it that, I kind of call it my little slogan. Um, so far back, first thing, and I don't know, some, I guess maybe it stuck with me the whole way through. I don't remember when I uh, started saying that, but that is really, really cool. I don't know, kind of just thinking about it. Two years ago, I started this channel. Or, well, I had the channel for a while, but started the whole beer review, the Ruski Brewski reviews, all that fun stuff. And wow, it's, it's, a, it's a bit of a trip looking back and seeing how so much has changed. Just my whole delivery in videos seems a lot more confident now than it was when I first started, which actually makes a lot of sense. Looking more at the frame rather than the screen or just off into the distance, pretending nobody's looking at me because I'm so awkward and quiet. But it's pretty nuts. So yeah, this is, this is the little intro. Still me being a little awkward <laughs> when, when there's a camera in my face. Um, as to as to the craft beer journey, that's it. so so. Let's go on. Let's go on this little reason or, or or you know pat on the back, pat on my own back of this two year anniversary. Beer, 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 beer. Hello, everybody. Welcome back to me, Mate Brewski. But this is not for a Ruski Brewski review. In fact. You probably read the title already, makes sense, right? Right? Read the title, kind of know what's going on already. This is actually kind of a uh, thank you slash my journey slash happy two year anniversary video. Well, belated, belated, belated two year. I was busy, I was busy. So what, what, what can you do, right? It's my channel, my thing. <coughs> but no, I actually wanted to thank all of you guys and you know kind of just crack a beer and enjoy uh, a little little two-year anniversary of actually my first beer review first ruski brewski review was back a little over two years ago on march 29th if i'm not mistaken yes two years ago march 29th 2017 i posted my first ever beer review big things big things i was very uh very nervous about it, but you know what? Let's do a little, let's do a little story time. Why not? And with that said, we're gonna crack open some of the OG, the Canuck Pale Ale by Great Lakes Brewery. And the first beer that I did, that I reviewed for the channel in my life. So I thought it'd be fitting to uh, shoot this video and enjoy, and enjoy a nice Canuck Pale Ale. Pouring it into the Great Lakes Brewery pop can style glass, unlike what I did in the uh, first review. Look at that. That's a pretty beer. Oh, don't go over. There we go. Look at that. That's a pretty pour. That's a pretty pour right there. 
Mm-hmm. Nice and lightly hazy. Nice golden color, nice white head on top. Mm -mm -mm. Let that sit for just a moment. But yes, two years ago, posted my first ever, well, second, but first ever beer review on YouTube. And uh, yeah, that was uh, that was kind of a little freaky ex uh, experience kind of thing, posting, just being open and looking at a camera. Very, very weird. Um, reasons why I did it. Well, at that time, two years ago, I knew that I wanted to get into the craft beer industry. So I was trying to think of ways to, uh, ways to, you know, I guess, separate myself from the rest of the people wanting to go into the industry. And I thought, well, YouTube might actually help. Um, but I, I kind of needed a little bit of a push. I was, I was a little iffy about getting into the, onto the YouTube space. I thought it'd be, uh, I thought I'd kind of make a fool out of myself, which I probably have multiple times. And I wasn't too sure of like, uh, how to upload the videos properly or anything about editing really, uh, sort of just taught myself. But the person that really pushed me to do YouTube, even though like not directly, totally indirectly, uh, or inspired me to do it was actually uh, Redbeard, which I definitely mentioned, I think in that first video or a very early video. But yeah, it was actually Redbeard. Go check him out. Link down in the description box below. Um, that, you know, sort of was just like, well, if that guy's doing it, why can't I do it? So then I decided to do it. So thank you, Redbeard. And cheers to you for, uh, for you know, giving me that little bit of inspiration to, to start my own YouTube channel. Oh, that is good. Mmm. Really good. But yeah, so I, I, I made the YouTube channel and it kind of just, I don't know, I kind of enjoyed it. I was very awkward in the beginning, not looking at the, uh, not looking at the lens, anything like that. It was, uh, it was weird. It was kind of, it was very nerve wracking to be honest, because you're thinking, oh, I'm talking to people, but not actually talking to people, but you are in a sense. It's interesting. And you know what? I never really cared about the followers or the views or anything like that. I just wanted to, to put out my information and to put out something that I enjoyed doing out to the world. And I did. And you know what? There are a few people that actually came along for the ride. And that's really, really awesome. Uh, looking on either YouTube or on Social Blade and then every once in a while I get a subscriber or two. I'm like, oh, that's really cool. And it's neat. Somebody watches you and, and says like, yeah, I wanna see more of that. That's kinda cool. And it kinda blows my mind a little bit. So, cheers to you guys, all the subscribers. That's awesome. Also, I want to say thank you to all my friends, my family, and anybody else that's come along for the ride. Either by bringing me beers, or participating in videos, or giving me ideas for new videos, new stuffs and things to do and shoot. Really, really cool stuff. And it's been a hell of a journey. I met a lot of great people. I met... Uh, the albino rhino. I met Redbeard. I met on the tenth. I met uh, Maxwell Star, and I think probably a couple other people that I just don't remember off the top of my head. Just all from the beer community. Been on a couple live streams in the past. Very great group of uh, great group of guys. Great beer tubers. All that fun stuff. So that's that's really really cool. Uh, with the videos, you know, it's it's gotten me a little further too. Got me working at Black Oak. Um, got me, you know, definitely a leg up in the, um, up when I applied to the Niagara College Brewing Program. Yes, I did get accepted. So, that's awesome. That starts in September. Very, very excited about that. Two-year program. Moving out there. Gonna change up all this background here. Gotta figure out where I'm gonna shoot in the new place. But yeah, just a hell of a two years. That's for damn sure. There's so much that's changed. There's a lot more weight on my body. The beer's finally catching up a little bit. But, you know, tone them back a bit and you go right back to, uh, right back to your old self. <laughs> uh, but, yeah, yeah, tons of beers. I think I'm sitting at, as of uploading, 363, if I'm not mistaken, or more. 366 that are uploaded. But there's probably about f f uh, an extra 40 or so uh, pre-recorded that still needs to be uploaded. 
and edited and all that fun stuff. Yeah, I need to I need to get back on the editing. But you know, videos are coming daily. Um, even though they may have been shot in months previously, they're still coming. I review more than I edit, but that's okay. Now I really don't know where I'm going with this little uh, with this little video that I'm doing to your anniversary. Just kind of enjoying the beer, shooting the shit. So if I ever get too boring, you can just click away and go watch something else on YouTube. Don't really know what to say. It's just kind of just off the cuff, you know? No, nothing scripted, nothing written, uh, nothing really thought too deeply about. Sort of just flying by the seat of my pants, which I have been for quite some time. And you know what? It's kind of working out for me. It's kind of working out for me pretty, pretty well. Um, <clears throat> videos are coming still every day um beer facts video will be out uh soon i've been very, very not lazy on that but it's hard to find to get time to shoot different portions of it so that will be coming in the beginning of april um I have a vlog coming out for my trip that i took down to niagara uh last week um so go look at places to live and also just going to a few breweries enjoying some enjoying some beer and buying some beer speaking of which those reviews are coming up as well still need to shoot a few more but i have a really interesting one for the uh for the exchange beers that you will see in the vlog but other than that just trying to think about what what new stuff to do in the next year in the next two years i don't know it's gonna be a fun time but daily beer reviews will be here and will be posted most days. Unless I go out drinking, then I will not be able to unless it's really late. I don't know. I'm just doing my own thing. I'm my own boss at this. And this, that's the really cool thing about coming on to YouTube is that you're your own boss, essentially. And you kind of got to be tough on yourself, which is, uh, which is really, really neat. But yeah, I'm not really too sure what else I got to say about that. <laughs> Other than that, it's been a hell of a two years. Met a lot of great people. Drank a shit ton of really amazing beer. Some beer, not so much, but you know, majority of them, really great stuff. I think, I think I'm gonna wrap this up. I'm gonna go enjoy this beer off camera while I edit this video. And yeah, I think that's about it. Like I said, everything's sort of just off the cuff, so a little rambly, that's fine. I wanna thank you guys again for not only watching, but supporting and just, just just being relaxed, enjoying some videos, enjoying some beer with me really means a lot. And you know what? There's going to be big things happening in the next two years and beyond that. And I'm very excited to share it with all of you guys on the other side of the screen. So, with all that said, like I always say, crack a beer and enjoy. Cheers. Cheers to you guys. Cheers to the beers. Cheers to everything great in the world. I don't know why I said that, but just cheers to beers and cheers to you. Crack a beer. Cheers. I'm rambling, rambling. Cheers to rambling. Fuck it. <laughs> Here is to another two and many more years ahead of me on the beer, on the, on the, on the Maple Ruski, Ruski Ruski channel. Like I said, rambling.